Hi Pisces and welcome to your love story timeless tarot reading. I am recording this on Valentine's Day, the day of love. Just like the previous love story, this is either going to resonate or it's not because I am trying to tell the story of your love, okay? I want to make it very specific so those of you that, you know, this reading will resonate it will resonate all the way into your soul so if it's not resonating like that it is not for you hmm two of wands wanting to show themselves not sure why that is so we'll see as we go through the reading so pisces um uh, also just like the last one i am only looking at a relationship where there's going to be mutual and equal love for each other okay doesn't mean there won't be challenge and all of that just means that you both love each other and have equal feeling for each other um i say that because i see a lot of comments where people say oh you know this person blocked me and hasn't had anything to do with me in two years but i just know they're my one and i'm like well i am not here to tell anybody no that's not your one but I just this reading isn't gonna pick up on that type of energy this is where two people have a desire to be with each other they're not blocking each other I mean again there it could be a story where we are together and then we break up and come back together but again it's not it's mutual love okay it's not somebody who's playing games with you and hurting you all the time and oppressing you and, play, you know, like cheating and playing with your mind and your heart and taking advantage of your love. Like, that is not what I'm after in this reading. Everybody deserves better than that. All right, Pisces. Let's see who you are and who they are before you guys meet up and come together. So it looks like we're both getting over some heartbreak. That had to come out there. So I feel like you both are, um, I can't even see that. There. You guys are like both mending a, a broken heart, but you're on the tail end of that when you're coming together. Okay? So you are coming through as the Palace of Cups upright. Nice. The Star upright. Beautiful. And the eight of coins upright. Nice, Pisces. You got your shit together right there. Like, this is, I am healed. I am working hard on myself, on my life. I'm getting it together. My intuition is on point. My emotions are balanced. I have faith and hope and belief in the future. I'm on point. Great energy, Pisces. Over here for them, we have Ace of Swords reverse. Four of Cups reversed. And the Knight of Coins. So, I get a little bit of a conflicting message here. And that might be what those two of wands were about. Because I really want to make these um, quite specific. But I feel like um, there might be two stories coming through on the partner side here. Okay. So, what I feel... Um, one story is this person is somebody who like rejected you in the past or um, and they might not even have rejected you it's just like they see they're this these two it's like a missed opportunity and I feel like it's towards you because we have this Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles is the one knight that is coming home from the battle okay and he's on the black horse so he has just returned from battle which makes sense with this heartache here coming being on the other side coming out of that so it's like I feel that this person is somebody that you were trying to get with or it was like you know some I don't know it's just like you guys already know each other and I feel as though they kind of rejected you and weren't open to you and 
it's because they were still going through some healing. But now here with this Knight of Coins, it's like, you know what? The battle is over. I am healed. I am whole. I'm ready to come and offer you something substantial now. Okay. I just feel like that's where you're at in your mind is like, you're, I'm sorry. That's where they're at in their mind is, um, you know, like they had a missed opportunity with you or it could even be like it's just somebody that knew you and out of nowhere, they're just kind of like thinking about you. So very interesting, Pisces. So let's pull some cards to see what your energy and personality is specifically before you come together in theirs. It looks like Pisces got their ducks in a row. And you might just at this point be like, fool, you lost your chance. <laughs> the Ice Queen. Well, Pisces, um, oh, this here looks like you are getting yourself together and not so much interested in a relationship and um, Aquarius actually got this as their energy as well so um, you're not interested in a relationship you're really working on yourself or your career or whatever it is like that's where your focus is at they're the swan queen transformation intuition and patience um, yeah I feel Pisces that this partner here is somebody that was going through a heartbreak like you both were okay but I feel like you are more progressed on the path of healing and reestablishing yourself and they're still in a process of the transformation and getting through the emotions so it's like you are over the hurt the heartache you're moving forward you are at the point of rebuilding yourself they're at it's still in that place of letting all that hurt go and so patience like they just if there was any sort of rejection here it's because they just had nothing to offer you yet Pisces because of what they were going through emotionally so let's see how you guys come together and I just have to say like um in a court this I'm feeling strong Aquarius even though we have this knight of coins because this is very similar to Aquarius's reading but swapped it was like Aquarius is really, you know, in that place of healing. Um, and then the person coming in for them was somebody who was also healing, but in a more established, um, working on themselves, you know, trying to rebuild their self, not they're over the pain and heartache. And so it's like we have that same message going on here, but it's swapped. So I and Pisces actually came through in Aquarius's readings. So I'm feeling really strong Pisces Aquarius connection here. And <laughs> Aquarius had this in their reading as well and it's like Finally, the blindfold comes off and it's like, I see you and I see you back and I'm feeling you. Dang. Dang, dang. I'm going to have to say this is an Aquarius or somebody with a lot of Aquarius in their chart just because of the similarities in the two readings. We have the King of Cups reversed. We have the Eight of Cups reversed. We have the Queen of Coins upright. The Seven of Swords. And the Ten of Wands reversed. So, yeah, um, and look at very next card. Five of Cups reversed again. Yes. Pisces, what I see here is um, 
we're not ready for a relationship. There's a lot of emotions happening. There's, you know, we're both getting over some crap. But we already know each other somehow, some way, okay? Because here's this return, this return back, and here's the Pisces symbol right there. So we have this return. So we already know each other, but I don't feel like we were in a romantic partnership with each other. No, we're both coming off of a breakup when we connect with each other, okay? And we're not quite ready, but then we come to this place where we are ready, we are healed, we are whole. And I feel like, um, Pisces, this is speaking more for you, okay? Um, this is you having your crap together. And because of that, you're now able to offer yourself in a romantic way, okay? Um, however it was that you had to get yourself together, whether it was financially, emotionally, mentally, you know, it could mean a hundred different things. But you, when you get yourself together and you're finally in that place where you feel solid, that's when I think we see each other. And then we have this Seven of Swords. So with this energy, um, I feel like we both are releasing the load of what happened to us in our past, the cheating, the lying, the betrayal, whatever happened in your past relationship, whatever happened in their past relationship that, you know, has you both coming off of the five of cups when you guys come together. Okay. It's like that energy is leaving. The 10 of wands is reversed. All right. Um, what I feel is it's like your connection with each other lifts the burden off of each other, this um, heavy energy of the past. And then we have this Five of Cups reversed again. So it's like the pain is finally gone. So let's pull a few Romance Angel cards. I just feel like Pisces, you should watch Aquarius's love story. Because, man, I feel like it's you and an Aquarius in this tarot reading. Only because of all the similarities between the two. We have a deception, keep an open mind, and you deserve love. Yeah, I feel as though um, you guys are leading each other out of this energy of that past betrayal because we have the seven of swords here, okay? So we're leading each other out of that past energy and keep an open mind. It's saying here that um, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So that's why I'm saying I don't feel like you guys were really ever looking at each other as long term ever. Um, I just feel like this is somebody new and it's like you guys connect through your emotional heartache of what you've been through in the past. And you both through this relationship recognize that you both deserve love, love that you were not receiving in your previous partnerships that has us both coming off of the Five of Cups because we have the Five of Cups twice. So you both suffered um, a heartache and a heartbreak. All right. So let's pull some fortune cards and see how this relationship unfolds. Also, because we do have deception and the Seven of Swords here, I feel that you guys might be kind of dishonest with each other about your feelings for each other. Like, you're trying to hide it and keep it under wraps. Because, again, it's just going to be kind of, like, weird. Like, I never thought I would see you in this light. But, oh, my God, I think I'm totally falling in love with you. A 
then I feel like I need to shuffle these really good for your We have the wolf. Beware who you trust. Yeah, you both really went through some shit. The golem. A close friend acts on your behalf. Yep, it's that friendship I'm talking about. How you guys relate through the mutual pain. You will, you will receive news from afar. Um... This could indicate that maybe initially you guys don't live very close to each other. Maybe we um, reconnect on the internet or, you know, something like that because you, you will receive news from afar. So that's why I'm like you already know this person and like somehow, some way, like you guys just start talking and it's not for romance. It's just like, hey, how are you? Let's catch up. What's going on in your life? The shield, you are safe from harm. Yes. The chalice, rejuvenation and fulfillment. Oh my gosh, Pisces. So awesome. Love it, love it, love it. You guys heal each other, okay? You just connect, I feel like, as friends. Um, and there may be where, like, you were kind of pursuing them, like, trying to put it out there, but they weren't, like, biting. They weren't jumping on board with your subtle hints or things like that. Um but it's like we reconnect and through that reconnection we start sharing ourselves and where we've been and what we've been through and it's just like real and raw and that's why we start bonding without even recognizing it okay and you are safe from harm you guys could never harm each other because with the chalice hair this when love happens it's the real deal all the way across the board because you guys are building this foundation that is very pure, very true, very honest, and solid because we're just being friends. We're just helping each other through, you know, whatever we're going through. And that is like what creates this bond. And it's a mutual bond, okay? It's... But we're both kind of like holding our feelings back from each other initially. And again, I think it's because you're like, oh, I never expected to feel that way about you. <laughs> but you do, Pisces. So let's um, see what soul lessons come with this relationship. What are we working on? Well, okay. Self-worth, yes. Um, I think, and it knocked over these two fives here. So I feel like um, when you initially come together, it's because your energies are rebuilding each other. Your self-worth, your self-esteem, um, helping you see things from a different perspective. So definitely your guys's relationship is something that is very healing to your soul okay and reinstates your self-worth your self-esteem your value of who you are so i'm gonna pull three more because i like i said that to me felt like it was intended for the fives, those two five, reversed five of cups. Yeah, Pisces, it's just like, by the time this shows up, you're just working on you. Like, you might just be like, I don't even care about love anymore. Or you might already be in this relationship and I'm just telling you your story. And all the decks that I'm using are listed in the description below if you're interested. Um, 
I do want to point out that um, this right here, belonging, the house of the night, just because I noticed it on the bottom of the deck, this is I choose you. I choose you. Okay. We have groove. Yep. You guys are going to help each other overcome the five of cups. It's going to flip. Okay. To the reverse five of cups. This is all about that type of energy of overcoming. Individuality. Yes. This here, um, if you notice, she has these tattoos on her face and the meaning behind this card is she is made differently intentionally very unique from all the other entities okay and with keep an open mind here I'm not surprised to see this card come out because this is saying like you um, Pisces you are very unique this individual that's coming into your life is also very unique all right and that through that individuality like you guys really connect okay you're like yin and yang and that's probably another reason why you're like yeah I just never thought you and I would have this connection and then it's just there it's just there naturally movement um just because I have movement and um, this, the uh, you'll receive news from afar, I feel like for many of you, um, you guys initially live far apart from each other. And um, like one of you is going to relocate to be with the other just because we have movement here. Also, um, when you guys finally come together in a romantic partnership, the energies of healing and rebuilding yourself and moving forward are going to accelerate because you guys are meant to fall in love and rejuvenate each other and fulfill each other to the fullest um, as far as a romantic partnership goes. So, very beautiful, Pisces. Very beautiful. Let's take a look and see what the advice is for this love story. Man, it's just like, I don't know why, but if like, somebody would have told you like five years ago, hey, such and such is your soulmate and your twin flame, you would have laughed and been like, yeah, right, that's never going to happen, I'm not interested like that, or um, they're not interested in me like that, or they live too far away, or I haven't talked to this person in forever, like, you would have been like, no, we're just too different, because um, when you initially know this person, I just feel like you're both in very different places of your life, like, you are not compatible the first time you cross paths with each other, and I, I just think it's... Um, Again, you guys are just in different places of life, and then you both suffer this horrible heartbreak around the same time. Um, I feel like them a little bit after you because they're still on the mend when you guys are coming together, okay? Whereas you're beyond that, and you're just rebuilding yourself and focused on you. So... <clears throat> Yeah, you just, this is not who you would have ever. And it could have been like you were like, oh my gosh, they're so hot and I would do anything to be with them. Like it could even be that energy. All I'm saying is that this is not somebody that you would have expected. Period. And it's just like all of a sudden the universe like gives you new eyes and gives them new eyes and you guys just have this chemistry that in connection and you're like, whoa. And I personally feel like that's how you'll know that you guys are meant to be. Because it just starts out so real and raw and we're not trying to impress each other. And then all of a sudden it's like, holy crap, I'm like totally falling for you. <laughs> Get to know each other. Guess what? Aquarius received this as well. However, they got it in the Romance Angels. So yeah, you, it's like... 
you once you really get to know this person you're gonna realize how compatible you guys really are be authentic to who you are yes this here is saying again you guys are so real and raw because we're not coming at this in an attempt to attract a mate we're coming at it because we need I want to talk I'm hurting I let's you know share and all that good stuff and it's more of a friendship than a romance initially spend some quality time together yeah so to me this is honestly I feel like the universe kind of swapped this up on me and what this is saying is as you get to know them and you're totally just being who you are and they're being who they are and you're spending time together all of a sudden you find yourselves in love and you're like what wait what how how'd that happen it's because you are meant to be Pisces you are meant to be so that is your second love story I hope that you have enjoyed it and I am wishing you all the best take care